Steam Props LLC. Cosplay and costume prop craft. Prop craft. Great props for great, great props for great cosplay without breaking your budget. And you made all of these? Yep. Hand painted every single one of them. Wow. We got a lot of them on the back table as well. That's really cool. Oh, but that's all legal stuff. So what's your most expensive item? It'll be this guy right back here. Wow, heavy weapon. Now, do you have anything, like a something small? How small are you My smaller guys are there. Got a few guys here. Uh, now, do you also sell things to put them in the holsters? I do not, no. That'd be a good idea. I don't have any skills with that, cloth or leather. That's a pretty sweet I rifle. Tried, I, I tried, <laughs> I bombed it. Gotcha. I'm sure there are probably places you can Oh, like, yeah. Well, actually, this one here that I'm wearing, I uh, got on an Etsy shop online. Fairly inexpensive, really nice custom leather made. Very nice. And how much is the child? Child is fairly inexpensive. If you <laughs> that one's a, I've got two other models you can have. <laughs> so, um, what do you think the, the biggest appeal to steampunk is? Like, what, what do you think people are drawn to steampunk? Creativity, unique uh, ability to speak your mind. Just with the uh, the way that you do it, because a lot of cosplays are pretty specific. There's a little bit of twist you can do, but for the most part, steampunk is uh, just a genre uh, in a different, you know, apocalyptic, or you can do Victorian. So there's a lot of ways you can switch it around, change it around. Do something unique, but still kind of blend in with the rest of it and have a lot of fun. Now, is H.P. Lovecraft considered a steampunk, or like, in that To an world? extent, it depends on uh, whom you ask. Gotcha. Well, thank you so much thank for your you. time. Take care. And have a great day. You as well. Take care. Thanks.